Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is PJ again, and today I'll be doing part 2 of my how to make a Minecraft character in Blender tutorial. Um, so in the first tutorial we learned how to do this, make his body and skin him. But in case you haven't been able to tell, we can't move any of his body parts. So this tutorial is going to be focused on um, adding armatures and making a simple FK rig with them. So, if you haven't seen the tutorial before this and don't know how to get what we have right here, then uh, just I'll put a link up on the screen or in the t or in the description right now, and you can go check that out before you look at this one. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just gonna close all my toolbars, and okay, so we need to press Z, or if if you prefer to, and then press Shift A. And what this will do is it'll give us a list of things that we can add and we are going to want to add an armature and just press single bone so it gives us a bone like this and I'm just gonna press shift s and select the grid just to make sure that it's uh, in line with our body and then hold control and drag this bone down to right there I'm not sure what to call that like pelvic bottom of the body and then press 7 and make sure that this is also in line or else it'll mess everything up so go back into front view and then with the bone selected press tab and this will edit the bone that we have now select the top like this right clicking on it and then hold the blue arrow and hold control and drag it down to the middle and this will be a point at which we can rotate uh, the upper half of his body and then once we st if we still have the point selected we can press E and what this will do is extrude another bone but part of the same armature so just hold control and then drag that bone up to his neck where the head and the body connect uh, again holding control so that it snaps the grid now it's still in edit mode if we press shift a it'll automatically add in a new bone for us um, just snap that to grid and then drag it up to the head and make sure it connects with the uh, neck bone or top of the body bone whatever you want to call it and then select the top of it and drag it to the top of the head and this will allow us to rotate the head now if we press shift D and then left click we have just copied the bone and with it still selected we can press rotate and then type in 180 and then press G and drag it into the middle of his arm so two pixels in front on either side now what this will do is if we leave it like this then it gets kind of annoying because it'll rotate around this point which means that if we rotate it 90 degrees this will end up being away from his body and it'll be up like two pixels up his head so what I like to do what I find works is if you select the top and then drag it down two pixels and usually that's the best thing because it's two pixels away from the body and now if we select the bottom and then drag it to the middle it doesn't matter where you drag this one it depends on where you want the arms to bend at I usually like to have them bend at the middle just because I don't know why and then just press extrude on the bottom and we have our arm so if we select this and then press rotate it goes like that but that's not what it's gonna be like but I just like to have it rotate in the middle so we can select this one the actual bone and the actual bottom bone and press shift D and then hold control and drag it to the middle of the other arm and just like that we have the upper body of our minecraft rig so now still in edit mode on the armature go to the bottom of the pelvis bone the painless bone and you need to select it and then press extrude and hold control all the way to the middle and we can do the same on the other side so that we just keep even here and I had no idea you could do that. That's really cool. <clears throat> so if you select one of these and then hold shift and select the other one and then press extrude, we can extrude them at the same time. So just put that in the middle and then press extrude again all the time holding control so that it's snapped to the grid. And now we don't need these bones, or at least I find that we don't need these bones. So just select both of the actual bone parts and just press delete and then delete selected bones. I just don't find them necessary at all. It like lifts up leg and part of the body. It's just weird for an FK rig. Anyway, so now if we press tab and then go into pose mode, we can notice something. So these all appear to be working good and the head rotates fine, but if we rotate the pelvic bone, which should rotate the whole upper body, only this bone rotates. 
So what we need to do to fix that is with the bone selected press tab again and that'll put us back into armature edit. We need to select the uh, top bone of the arms by holding shift and then select the top middle bone and then press control P and keep offset and what this will do is make it so that the arms follow this bone which is which is connected to this bone so basically these two arms follow this bone and now if we go back into edit mode we need to do the same with the head so select the head hold shift select the upper body control P keep offset and so if we just test that out it is perfect and the legs just make sure everything works usually there shouldn't be any problems so now we can connect our armature to the mesh so go into object mode and then select the mesh that we have and hold shift and select the armature then press control P and with automatic weights so if we go back into pose mode we can test this out here and we have a beautifully bending perfectly um, Minecraft rig. Look at that. It's beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, you might want to save at this point. Actually, you should save a lot because uh, Blender can be unstable sometimes. Um, so anyway, moving along, you can tell that if we rotate some of these bones, it is severely messed up. And when I first started rigging these Minecraft characters, I would always get extremely mad at the tutorials because I would say, well, it doesn't work. I don't understand. It won't do it but what we need to do is weight paint the mesh so um, select the armature just is just one quick thing and then go into the object data and then under display press x-ray just so that we can uh, see <clears throat> the bones when we're trying to move them now if you select the mesh and in where it says object mode go all the way up to weight paint and what this will do is if we select a bone we need to paint the uh, the mesh so that it moves with the bone like however much weight we want the bone to move so if we press T to open our toolbar and you can see here if we're in weight paint then we have a brush tool and these are the two brush tools that I use I don't know what any of the other ones do but these ones were pretty self-explanatory so I just started using them but there's the add and the subtract so this will add and subtract weight so let's start out with the head bone so if we select the head bone and then press G and hold control to move it up three pixels or however many you want <coughs> and then press the subtract tool in the toolbar and what I like to do is underneath that the the type of brush that you want where it says radius strength and jitter I like to turn the strength up to one and the radius down to 21 just because that is more comfortable for me the brush size and the, how powerful it is so now if we right uh, left click we can paint what we don't want the head bone to move so now if we try to rotate the head by pressing R no par other part of the body will move and that's exactly what we want so we can do the same with the other parts of the body um, select the top of the arm and then press G and then hold control and move it over just so that it's easier to paint because if you try to paint while they're uh, close you end up painting other vertices as well so if we have these bones selected we can just click these still on subtract and just like that our arms are no longer being annoying and interfering with the rest of the rig. They rotate by themselves. So that's perfect. And now if we come down to the legs, it's a similar thing. I like to select them both, then press G, and just move them down like this, and then move them out individually. So you can see the uh, basically the whole bottom body is selected to the legs, so if we rotated it, it would look like that. <clears throat> so what we can do to fix that uh, quite easily is select the bottom pelvic bone and then turn the brush to add and we want to add the bottom of the body to that bone because right now it's at the leg bones and we don't want that <clears throat> so do that to both sides make it nice and even this part's a little tedious but it's not too bad I guess um, you get used to it okay so that is oh yeah and it's a lot easier to see if you press Z like this is textured weight paint and this is wireframe uh, weight paint and it's a lot easier to see if you press Z sorry about that I was kinda wondering why everything was black but I guess that's why so if we can see now 
if we hold the middle mouse key to rotate, which you already should know how to do, you can see the texture lapping through this one. So that's how we're going to subtract the leg the leg mesh from the uh, pelvic armature bone. So just get it to an angle so that you can see through, and then paint it just like that, and that should bring it down a considerable amount. Uh, I'm just trying to get it here. This is the most annoying part, the stupid legs. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that side's good. And just make sure that uh, anything else that you don't want that to move, then I suggest you do that too, not just the legs, because sometimes it interferes with other things, so I would just give it a quick brush around in the subtract mode just to make sure that nothing else is uh, being affected by that. So now, um, if we select the top of one of the leg bones, we see that the, the body texture is still stretched in the direction of the legs, which means that this leg armature is still affecting the body mesh. So if we're still in the subtract tool, we can subtract the body from the leg mesh, and again, give it a quick sweep around, because you can see the leg mesh affected the torso, which is kind of weird, because it's opposite parts, but nonetheless, we have to fix it. So if we do that, and then try and rotate the leg, we can see that no other part of the body is being affected. And one good thing to do is at the top of the leg, press add, and then do all four vertices. Just so that it moves all of them and doesn't get doesn't get offset. Sort of my voice sounds a little uh sick. It's probably because it is a little sick. Um, okay, so go to the subtract tool again for the other leg bone and subtract the body. And now if we look, our body is totally square. So that means that no part of the body is affecting any other part of the body, which is exactly how we want it. Um, okay, so go to the leg bone again and just, oh, no, not subtract tool, control Z. And then go to the add brush and add the top vertices to the red zone. And so yeah, that should be good. And now for this middle torso bone, sorry if I don't, I don't know the bone names, you can name them whatever you want, but I'm not sure what to call them. So if you go to the top body bone, you need to add red weight paint to the top so that this will move the top. And what you might notice if you, you, if you rotate it, um, that's going to be really weird, it's going to it's not going to bend in the body because we haven't put any bends in yet. So if we go back to object mode and select the body and press tab, we go into edit mode. And uh, here in the toolbar, under mesh tools, um, go to the add section and then press loop, cut, and slide. And then just put it at the middle, the little purple line, put it at the middle of every joint in the body. Just hold control to make sure it's snapped on and you can just add it in just like that. So if we can, we do this to the rest of the body, or the body and the arms and the legs, and that will allow the legs and arms and body to bend where we are putting these cuts. So if we press tab again, we are back into object mode, and we can hold the bottom leg, and we can see that it's bending. But one thing you might notice is that it's really odd well it's deforming the mesh a lot if we bend it at like a 90 degree angle his leg gets extremely a lot smaller that's not even a proper sentence but I'm using it anyway it gets extremely a lot smaller um, and another thing you might notice which I'm not gonna go over in this tutorial because it should be self-explanatory is that if you rotate like this the bottom you can see that this up here moves as well which means that this bottom one is affecting the top of the arm and I don't like that to happen so just go back into weight paint mode on the mesh and fix that up. Um, but what we can do for the fact that it's deforming at 90 degrees a lot um, is we can select the armature, any piece of the armature, and I think... Oh, no, it's this one. It's select the mesh and then go into modifiers, and it'll arm automatically add an armature modifier when you bind, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, armature to the mesh. So here where it says preserve volume, we want to check that box. And that's not going to help 100%, but it'll make it a lot better. See? If we bend his arm, it's not like really tiny and together. Um, so that's a pretty good fix. Um, Control Z. And one thing that's bad about this kind of rig 
is that you can see <laughs> the uh, the bone stretches the textures a lot and right now I'm not sure of a fix for that but if I figure it out later I'll make another tutorial on it um, so now if we select the bones and hold control to move them back into place just like so you can move them back into place and you have created a minecraft character fk rig so i'm just gonna test him out a bit and it looks like he should be working perfectly fine see if this is like this then it rotates at a perfect angle it's totally square like that and it goes into the body like that but if it was if it was different then it would be up by the side of his head so just try to rotate the head and that's looking good and top of the body is perfect and everything else is great so that should be it for this tutorial um, the next tutorial will be giving him a face Euler rig and that should be fairly straightforward as well now we're gonna do that using shape keys so thank you for watching please comment if you have any questions and have a good day